All right, to add in the SNMP service, you have to add roles and features, click next. And it's not a role, but it's a feature. So after the roles come the features. So just role base, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, next. Go next past this screen, believe it or not. And then on this screen for the features, scroll down until you see SNMP service. And then you'll want to add the feature. And then click next. And then install. And then it's going to install. That's pretty much all there is to it. You just really need to know where to find it. It's under add roles and features. Uh, add the role. Well, it's not really a role, but go past the role screen to the feature screen. And then select it. Install. Finish. You're done. And then just to verify that it's there, go to the start menu, go to services, and then scroll down to see the SNMP service. Now what I noticed is if you have group policies that automatically set the SNMP, every now and then it doesn't show, like the SNMP things may have to be triggered with a GP update slash force, or you may need to see it's blank here, or you may need to just reboot the computer a few times or log in with a domain account in order to trigger the group policies for going through. Sometimes they go through automatically, other times they don't. Anyway, hope this helped you set up SNMP service on your Windows 2016 server, and we'll see you the next time. This is Technuba.